Okay, okay, guys. So, uh, sorry for that annoying music. Anyway, today we teach you how to make your own WPF Roblox exploit. If you don't know, I'm pretty sure Synapse X itself is WPF and Centil. And um, Windows Form is actually really rare. I'm pretty sure Kernel. I don't know. Uh, Coco Z is WPF. Um, uh, Cryptos Exploits is WPF. Alright, so let's, uh, this is going to be explained. Um, I'm just going to rename it to uh, WPF. Since I don't want anything special, anyway, you're gonna rename it to whatever you want. If you know, uh, uh, you're probably seeing my keyboard, my uh, microphone is like poop right now. Oh god, I'm so re I'm so retarded right now. Wow, why did I open that? I have no idea. Anyway, you want to go here and you want to type in WPF. Um. It's going to be the one that says Donut Framework uh, WPF exploit. Great, now I should delete some junk off my... Oh, you guys are not allowed to see my file explorer or something. So, <laughs> BSOD, 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 BSOD. Okay. No BSOD, guys. That's good. So, um, let's take my task manager really quick to see if my PC is dying. Sorry for black screen, by the way. All right, let's see. Hmm, what is this? Ooh, ooh just kidding. <laughs> All right, my CPU is on 53. That means I'm going to die really soon. But you see, this is what happens if I open Visual Studio. So that's why sometimes I can't even open Visual Studio. So um, first thing what you want to do is that uh, you want to go to Properties. And you wanna, you're going to select a window. And you're going to go to Appearance and choose in None, which will look like this. And by the way, make sure you make it small because it's going to give you like a huge one once you, um, you know, you basically do it. So this is okay. Now we're gonna do the color. We go to brush and we find this. Guess I'm just gonna do it like this. And now um, I do an effect called drop shadow, which just creates like a little shadow effect over here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one. And then now it looks out to you like something similar. Okay, never mind. Anyway, and this is how it's gonna look like. Oh god. Oh, I messed something up. Anyway, this is how it's not gonna this is how it's gonna look like. Um I guess you can go to window and uh, do a few stuff over here that has uh you have uh top most and I'm gonna be teaching how to make like checkboxes. So now let's get a little bit into the other stuff. Uh we need a panel. Oh no wait, I think it's called top bar uh we're just gonna be using a stack panel if can if this can do the um, mouse okay you can apparently you can see we got that mouse down so um what i should do is i make the uh, mouse the, the top panel a little bit darker than usual so go here do it to whatever you want um and i'm just gonna be doing it real quick 